Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. Happy New Year! This is Monday Minute. Everybody's looking at changing their show so quickly this year, I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. People are excited about 2023, and so am I. But let's start off the year right. Let's make sure you don't make some of these mistakes I'm going to show you. First of all, if you're going to have a new layout with your show directory, what do you need in this new show directory? What should be in there? Well, let's take a look at your original show directory. In your original show directory from 2022, it probably looks like this. Maybe you have 3D, maybe it's 2D. You've got your audio, backup, color curves, download faces. You've got a lot of stuff in here, right? So let's talk about what needs to come over to your 2023 show. Two of the most important files that you are going to want to bring over before making any changes is going to be your network and your rgbfx.xmls. These are very important. I'm not so concerned about the key bindings unless you have made specific key bindings, then bring them over as well. Absolutely. Uh, the next thing you should consider bringing over that I would recommend would be any value curves. If you have specific custom value curves that you have created, make sure you bring those over. Uh, you may want to bring over your videos, or you could still have your new show folder point to the existing videos. By default, they will do that, but I'm going to show you something I want you to spend some time on to do in the event that you somehow or sometime delete your videos or images or shaders or anything like that. Here's what you don't need to take over. You do not need to take over your render cache. These files are going to be huge, and I don't think uh, mine are going to be that big because I'm not really using it. Yeah, I've got what? No, nothing really on there. But if you're on Windows, chances are you use this and possibly on Mac too. Um, this gets really big, so don't worry about that. Presets, definitely take over presets if you have them. Uh, I would probably take over music, audio, some of the basics that you might really want to have over there. And certainly if you are running 3D, um, make sure you pull this file over. That's very important. So I'll say uh, three of the most important files are gonna be your 3D, bring over the skins and all your 3D world. And then of course, your RGB effects and network should be just pulled over into this new folder. All right, so let's get out of here and let's move this out of the way. Every year people seem to somehow lose sequences or images, videos and shaders, and you don't have to. One of the things that you can do that's really easy is uh, not only make a backup, but also have a starting sequence tool for your new world to bring into it. And I do this all the time, and I just love this feature. And it's as simple as making sure you have a sequence open, make sure it's saved, you've got all your changes done, and I'm gonna show you how to package the sequence up and use it for your new show to make that mapping process seamless and fast. As you can see, I have uh, shaders on here. They're all pointed here to my Christmas 2023, this one is. And then I have videos, and, and let's face it, you may have images, videos, and shaders where your sequences are pointing to various locations over this entire year. You might have made specific changes, you might have dragged and dropped the video, and it's only gonna be pointing to where that originally came from. Unless, unless in the process you did this, tools, clean up file locations. When you do that, that will automatically bring in your images, video shaders, and music into this existing show folder. That's really key. So I would make sure you have that done before you package up a sequence. When you have that done and you know everything's where it's supposed to be, you can go to your tools. Whoop. There we go. Tools, package, sequence. Click on this, and this is gonna say, hey, uh, you have some unsaved changes. That unsaved change happens to be me bringing all of my images, videos, and shaders in by clicking the cleanup, which I already had. So if you see this, it might be a good idea just to cancel out of here, hit save, and then come back to it. 
Once you have done that, it's going to ask you, great, what's the name of the sequence or this zip file you're about to create? And where do you want to put it? So we're going to put this on the desktop for now. You may have a specific folder you want to put it in, but for this demonstration, I'm going to put it on the desktop and click save. And this is just going to take a few seconds to finish up. It's bringing in all the images, videos, shaders, and music into that zip file. At this point, we're ready to go to our new world that we've just created, the world where we brought over the uh, RGB effects and network and 3D and any other pertinent, important files for our new world. So I'm going to click on controllers. I'm going to click on change, uh, let's just say permanently, because that's going to be our new world. And I'm going to go over here, and the new world for this purpose is called 2023 Extreme Low Density. And I'm going to discard changes. I don't need anything else from that world. And you'll see over here that in this layout, we have our new show. Now, <laughs> it's not uncommon for people to have big homes to downsize in their later years. It's not very common in our lighting hobby to downsize from a big show to a smaller show. Uh, not that I've really seen, but this is just to illustrate uh, what we're doing here. So I'm using this as an example. So in this folder, my extreme low density folder, you can see that I've copied the specific files over that being the network and the RGB effects and my 3D and maybe some audio faces and things like that. What we want to do now is great. I've got my new show. I want to bring all my old sequences into my new world. And the easiest way to do this is click new musical sequence. We're going to go into our folder here where I have already put my music into this world. Light of the world is the music. 40 frames per second, please. Main sequence view. Yes, I've done videos on that. If you have questions, let me know, but that'll be kind of important. And here we go. Here's the hierarchy of my uh, display elements. That's fantastic. That all looks good. And here's the music, and all I have to do now is import that zip folder that I put onto the desktop called Light of the World. Whoop, where'd you go, where'd you go? There it is, Light of the World zip. So I can double click on that or click OK. It's gonna open up the dialog box for mapping. Uh, because I did not change any of the names of my models, I didn't change any of the names of my groups, all I have to do is hit Auto Map. And I have just mapped this sequence to my brand new layout. Click OK. And bada boom, bada bang, there's all of the effects mapped over. And not only that, because you did make sure that you chose the tools, cleanup, file locations, it made sure to include all of that information in the zip file. Remember, make sure you hit save. If you see the error that says, hey, you might not have hit save, Cancel out of that, hit save, and then package the sequence. And we can test this. Let's look at this. Yep, yep, yep. It's in the extreme low density. Let's check a video. Yep. Light of the world is in the extreme low density. That's exactly what we want. We don't have to do any manual mapping for the images, videos, or shaders. Now, the one thing I wish was possible, maybe the developers will see this as a good use case, is if I'm going to import a sequence and I can already bring over the images, videos, and shaders, wouldn't it be neat that I could create a new sequence and go directly to the zip file and have it bring over the music, images, videos, and shaders without me having to unzip the folder to get to the music? See where I'm going with this? Maybe, maybe there's a use case there. I don't know. I'll let them chew on that. Anyway, this is a very useful way to retain the integrity of your original sequences year after year, and then store them offline somewhere, put them on a zip folder or wherever. Where. Did I just say zip folder? Like the old zip file folders from iOmega? I think I did. Anyway, put them on something uh, for safekeeping. I hope this has been beneficial. Smash that thumbs up. It helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel. It certainly helps the channel. Let's kick off 2023 with a successful year. This has been Monday Minute. See ya.